So students, I welcome to the class of Graphic Science. The subject is also known as Engineering Drawing. And we have seen in previous classes that this subject is also known as Language of Engineers. Whatever we see, we will draw it on a piece of paper or you can see, say, a sheet. So today we will talk about the concept of 2D views and 3D views. The 2D views are also known as orthographic projection, whereas the 3D views are known as isometric views. Well, the purpose is to convey all the information necessary for manufacturing a product or a part. So this subject will use a standardized language and symbols to convey this necessary information in two dimension and three dimensional views. As mentioned earlier, the two dimensional views are known as orthographic views, whereas the 3D views are also known as isometric views. These are drawn for a better understanding of the product. We will see it in this course. Let's say with this example, you can see an image. Can you predict what is its size? No. I can magnify the image, it will be quite large or I will zoom it out, it will be a narrow image, a small image you can see. So there is no dimensions provided in this figure. You can only judge that it is some sort of a product, a mechanical component it is. We don't see what is its size, what is it made up of, there is no necessary information provided in this figure. You can judge that there are some moving parts. It is some sort of a bearing or you can say a bush. So it will have a moving part at here. Now this picture can also depict what is the other side of this image. You can judge it by simply visualizing to this image. Could you build an accurate model only using this drawing? No, because the dimensions are not provided in this image. That's why it is not possible. And what is missing that you might need? So we need the dimensions of this image. What is its length? What is its width? What is the size of this hole? So these are the additional parameters that we require. That is known as dimensioning. So we will focus on ourselves to this view. Like this image is a 3D view. We will talk about how 2D and 3D images are drawn. Let's say these are the three basic types of te technical drawings. Very first is a freehand sketches. A mobile phone is there having a freehand sketch. So you can depict that it is a mobile phone. The second aspect is the instrument drawing. This is that instrument and we have used the mechanical components and mechanical instruments for making this image. So our focus is in this session is instrument drawing using 2D and 3D images. The third is computer aided drawings and modelings. With the advancement of supercomputers and electronic devices, we can predict the computer drawings of these models. So this image shows the diagram of an aircraft. So we will restrict ourselves for instrument drawing, the second component of this game. In developing a orthographic image. One has to understand what are the various quadrants we have. Like, if we take an example of a room, there is a wall there is a wall at here Let's say we will imagine this wall and we will have two planes. One is a vertical plane and one is a horizontal plane. So these planes are drawn. As let's say these are the extended surfaces on this wall. One is drawn vertical and the second plane is drawn horizontally. So this is a basically quadrant system. 
I am currently using the very first quadrant for analyzing the things. So you can see that this plane is the horizontal plane. This wall is your vertical plane and similarly we have this as the third plane in the very first quadrant so which is represented by the profile plane right here so it is quite important concept right now we are using the first angle of projection or you can say the first quadrant similarly one can use the third quadrant also it will have different set of end results we will discuss it later in later classes but right now from this image you can see that we will have three different planes vertical plane profile plane and horizontal plane what we will do is we will place a 3d object let's say there is a remote i will place it like this whatever the image is drawn from this way this is known as front view and the front view will be drawn at vertical plane so we will have front view at vp similarly whatever the top image is you can see the top image at the you have this plane which is hp so you will observe the top view at hp and this is the side image the side will be appear on this wall that is a profile plane so these are meant for side views so currently what we are doing is there is a 3d image we have placed it in first quadrant what will happen in first quadrant is but at on the plane surface on which your feet are there on which floor you are standing that is a horizontal plane but at the front wall is this is the vertical plane and these two are the profile planes the side walls these are the profile planes what we will do is we will place a 3d object in the first quadrant system whatever you view from this side this is the front view so the front view will be drawn on vertical plane whatever the top image is the top is drawn on the base and whatever the side images are these are drawn on the profile plane so this is a the concept then what will we do we will remove this object after drawing the images whatever the top images it is drawn on hp whatever the front images it is drawn on vertical plane and whatever the side images are these are drawn on the profile plane then we will remove this object and what we will do is we will rotate hp in clockwise direction such that it will come in line with vp and then we will open these profile planes along vp so we will look at this So this is the general rule. We will first place the 3D object either in first angle or third angle. In this case, we are using the first angle projection. You can also use the third angle projection also. There is a slight difference in first angle and third angle. We will discuss it in later classes also. So very first aspect is place the 3D object in first or third angle. Then draw its image as whatever you see on HP, VP, and profile plane. those you have to draw on that particular plane and then we will remove this object then keep the vp as it is so vp is kept as it is the hp is rotated clockwise so this is the clockwise rotation of hp such that it is rotated in this way that the hp will come in line with vp so hp plane will rotate and this will become hp 
And similarly, the profile planes are open like this along VP. So whatever the 3D image is, you can change that 3D image into a 2D image. A 2D image is whatever image you see on a single piece of paper, that is a 2D image. The whole 3D object is then drawn on a single piece, piece of paper, like VP is kept as it is, VP is kept as it is. The HP is rotated clockwise such that it comes in line with VP. So for first angle projection, VP will be at the top, HP at the bottom and side views are open like this. So this is the image. A 3D object is placed in between whatever the top image let's say this is the top image of the product this top view is drawn at here this is the top view of that image this is the side view so from side you can observe these and this object so this piece is drawn like this and there is a rhombus so it is made at here similarly on the front edge you can observe these three so we will look at in more detail let's say we have an example of an isometric view we have a cube and on the top of it, we have an arrangement such that a bolt can be fixed. And then we will add a stud from here so that the restriction of the bolt is there. So whatever the top image is, this is the top image. This top is drawn at here. This is the top image. This represents the front view. Let's say I am drawing an arrow at here. So this represents the I will draw an arrow at here which represents the front view of the object. So this is the front view. This is the side view. And this is the top view. You can observe that this image is drawn in third angle projection. In the previous slides we were discussing the first angle projection. This example is the third angle projection. How it is made is, let's say if we have this as a third quadrant, by the virtue of VP is kept as it is. So this one is VP. This plane is kept as it is. VP is kept as it is. This is HP, it is rotated clockwise. HP is rotated clockwise. So this will be HP. And the side views, they always open along VP. So these are the profile plane. And you will observe the combinations provided in your textbook could be either these, a combination of HP and VP. The images will be provided at the top and at the bottom. You have to judge which, which one is front view and which one is the top view. Or there is an arrangement provided something like this. You are provided with front view and side view or you are provided with front view and top view of the image. And the minimum two views are required for conveying a 3D image. We will discuss this concept in later classes also. But right now we are focusing on how this 
isometric view is converted into a 2D view. So suppose we are having an isometric view of this type of shape such that there is a cube at the top of it. It is having an arrangement such that a bolt can be fixed into it and then we have to provide restriction for the bolt such that we have will introduce a key in between. So this is this arrangement. We have a provision for bolt as well as for key. So your top view is drawn like this. But I mean the top image is, is, is drawn at the top of this. The front view, this is the front view. And it sh shows its front view. This image shows the side view. While drawing the orthographic view, we will keep these four things in mind. Very first is the object. Whatever the object is, the outer lines showing the object. Agar aap top se rekhe, from top, this is the outer dimension you are showing. So this is drawn with a continuous thick line, a dark line. Let's say very first is the object line. But if the object is composed of which line, we will draw it with this. Let's say for top view, this shows, this particular dimension shows the width and this shows the depth and it shows the height of this particular image. So I thought you are seeing the width and the depth. So this is that particular width and with that depth we have drawn the shape at the top. The shape at the top is a square, a square and at the center there is an arrangement for the hole. So there is an arrangement for the hole. This is a front view. You can observe the outlines as a solid image and that solid image is drawn at here. Having dimensions of, having dimensions of, it is a particular width is provided and this is height. So one dimension is depth and one is height. You can imagine that the third image is not provided with width and height because the width is similar as case of this because it is a single image single product and similarly it is having of height h so that is already depicted by this image and this is the right side view this is the right side view at the right side we are having a dimension of width and height so this is that particular height and having this height and this depth. So in this way, a 3D view is converted into a 2D view. Or this depicts the isometric image and this depicts the orthographic image. In this image, we are focused on the object lines itself. But what about the, at the center of this image, the center of this product, it is hollow in nature. Similarly, this is hollow. So we have to also draw the hollow images. The hollow images are drawn with hidden lines, which is the next content of this presentation. The hidden lines represents the features which can't be seen in the current view. And we show these unseen details with dashed lines. So this, there is a hole, this hole will be represented by this as well as at here and similarly the cavity is drawn like this. It is also hollow in nature. This hollow is also depicted in the right side view. This is the concept of hidden lines, drawing the hidden lines to provide the inside view of the object. 
such that it is hollow in nature, you have to show that this object is hollow. Right now, after drawing this image, you can observe that <coughs> at the front view, it is hollow from top. It is hollow from top such that it has an arrangement for arrangement for arranging the bolt. So this is that image for the bolt. And we have to insert the key such that the bolt can't move. So there is a provision for this key, which is also shown by the hollow. The third concept is after hidden lines, the concept is of center lines. The center lines represent the symmetry and mark the center of the circles. So it is drawn at the symmetry of this image. These lines are important elements of the objects for dimensioning and for constructing the image. Last but not least, we have to draw the sectional view of the part. This view provides the inside details about the object. Let's say, we are having a cutting plane A that cuts the object into two halves. Then after this, what we will observe is, there is a hollow cavity in both ways and there is a solid object that is meant by the section lines. So this provides the sectional detail about the object, the inside views. This is about converting a 3D image into a 2D image. We will look for what are the other views of a 3D object. So right now, there is an object, it has different views. You can rotate the object, it will have different views. This view is depicted as the front view. This one is the top view. This is at the top. And this is the side view of the image. So it is drawn in third angle projection. The next content is the isometric view. Drawing a 3D image from 2D images. Then what will happen is, let's say you are provided is with the 2D view. So this is the 2D view and we have to convert this 2D view into a 3D view. So what we will do is, we will have equal angle of 120 degree at the center, having an angle of 120 degree. Isometric means it is a drawing showing the three dimensional view of the object. The perpendicular edges of the object are drawn on three axes, which are at 120 degree to each other. The actual distances are drawn on these axes. So what we will do is, we'll draw a straight line like this, and we will draw a perpendicular onto this. Then. We will draw an angle of 30 degree at here and similarly 30 degree at here. So these are the three axes now. 1, 2 and 3. The other axis is coming here to represent the same way. These three axes will have 120 degree each. Let's say the front view we have drawn. The second is the right side view. So this is the right side view of the object. Let's say it is drawn at here. And here we will draw the top image. So this converts the 2D image into a 3D image. And this is the purpose of drawing the isometric views. The isometric scale, it is not used for spheres and it reduces the true length with 82% approximately. So this is the true length. 
this is a true length we are drawing at 30 degree now initially the angle was 45 degree when we calculated the slope so this defines the true length of the image for isometric length we use the angle of 30 degree as seen in the previous slide so initially it was 45 degree and now it is 30 degree so it reduced the actual size by 82 percent approximately we will discuss the isometric view with a more example and it is a case of your stairs so in the front of you what you observe is uh, this sort of image having an arrangement for stairs and this block the arrangement for stairs it is drawn on the front view as like this and this represents this view the left hand side view this is an image for left hand side view so this is the particular image for the left hand side view you will observe this dimension and these two dimensions what about at the top at the top you observe this particular L and these two dimensions so this is that particular L and these are the two dimensions so whatever the image you are having an orthographic view that is converted into a isometric view or a 3d view so this is the concept of orthographic and isometric projections <coughs> if you have any queries you can contact the department of mechanical engineering school of Engineering and Technology, Career Point University, Hamirpur. You can also email me at vaibhav.me at the rate cpuh.in or you can WhatsApp or make a call at 9826